What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with a little bit of a hype video surrounding the new map, Mississippi Acres Preserve in the Hunter Call of the Wild. In this video, we're gonna talk about alligators specifically. I am super curious to find out what kind of rares we can expect for the alligators. I wanna talk about that. We're gonna talk about, are they gonna go aggressive? What are we gonna shoot them with? What is gonna count as a vital shot on them? What class are they gonna be? What level are they gonna be? We're gonna talk all about the alligators. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but without further ado, let's jump into it. I have so many questions and curiosities about the alligators. Uh, one of my questions has been answered though. Yesterday, uh, it was announced that the alligators will indeed be a class six animal. So I think this pretty much takes out of the question brain shots. Uh, there was a lot of speculation as to whether or not brain shots will be a thing, like in real life, behind the head, sometimes with the 22, uh, is how they're hunted in uh, in real life. So the fact that they're a class six animal, I think kind of takes that out of the equation. I don't think, and it's just my opinion, I don't think brain shots will be a thing for them. I think they'll have kind of the same vital organ situation uh, as far as integrity goes as the other species in the game. So that does leave a lot of different options for rifles though, class six, same as red deer, right? So 243 all the way up to uh, the Grelk drilling rifle, the seven millimeter will be a thing, all the, the 30 odd six weapons, 303, 6.5, all of those things. Uh, also a few handgun choices, 357, 44, 454, all good to go for class six animals. Bunch of shotgun uh, options as well and same with uh, bows. So. Class six, pretty much what I was expecting. I was expecting them to be a class four or five. Class six makes sense too. I kind of like that. And also, that also leads me to believe that they will be a level nine animal. And I hope that they are. They technically should, I think, be a predator species. Predator species all go up to level nine in the game. And I would just love to see a legendary level nine alligator in the Call of the Wild. I think that's gonna be just super, super cool. I am feeling the alligator hype. What other questions do I have, geez? So I'm kind of wondering if there's gonna be nests, uh, maybe at their rest zones or at their they're, you know, at in some part of the map, if there's gonna be nests with eggs, like that would be really cool. Just visually, just like as an aesthetic thing, a cosmetic thing in the game. I'm also wondering if they're gonna go aggressive. I'm hoping that they do have the ability to go aggressive. Uh, alligators in the wild, in real life, uh, kind of do this thing where they kind of lunge upward on their hind legs and kind of bellow. And they, you can kind of actually see one doing that in the full trailer. And I hope that that is something that they do in the game. I, I wonder if maybe they'll uh, have an animation of eating maybe rabbits or raccoons or something, or chasing the other animals around. Uh, but yeah, I hope that they do have the ability to go aggressive. I hope there is a, a, an element of, of fear there. You know, maybe you don't want to get too close. Uh, I think that would be really, really cool. The main thing I want to talk about, though, is uh, the different variations, uh, possible rares, uncommons, skin types or scale types. I don't know what we're going to be referring to that as with the alligators. But uh, in the wild, in real life, there are actually, I think, five different rare variations uh, possible here for alligators. And we've got albino, melanistic, leucistic piebald and orange is the fifth one and that one's really interesting i did some googling here did a little researching on kind of all of them just in general um the albinos and the leucistics are extremely extremely rare in the wild and i believe all of them or all of them that have been found are actually in captivity and there really aren't that many they're like extremely like one in millions you know can be albino or leucistic i couldn't find too much about piebald and melanistic but those are two uh possible uh real variations that could be a thing in the game and then we've got the orange now orange there's only a few pictures that I could find on Google of these orange uh, alligators that is it, and it is a, a variation for them super super rare maybe maybe they'll save that for a great one alligator maybe we'll get a great one alligator that's actually one of the elusive uh, orange anomalies but it's really interesting to think of I wonder if maybe you know piebald as an uncommon piebald and leucistic look uh, very similar um, leucistic are a lot more white with some spots um, maybe 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 one of them could be uncommon like maybe piebald could be uncommon and then maybe we'll have albino, leucistic, and melanistic as the rares. And then who knows, maybe they will do the orange thing. I'm kind of, I don't know why, but I'm kind of not expecting them. I'm not expecting there to be orange ones. I don't know why. If there are, I'm going to be stoked. That would just be super cool. Especially especially if the, the orange ones are like really, really rare. Like especially rare compared to the other rares. But yeah, I am super, super excited to find out and to see what is coming with the alligators. I have been excited about something new coming to Call of the Wild in quite a while. Super stoked to be shooting gators. Another question that I have for them 
it's going to be interesting to see if they kind of dwell on land or in water or maybe a mix of both. Um, based on that trailer and based on the little video that they put on Instagram, you can actually see an alligator uh, kind of swimming through the river and you can also see them on land, land. So I'm wondering if maybe their rest zones will be kind of around the edge of the water, up, up along where the river kind of meets the land along the rivers. Maybe we'll have, uh, you know, big groups of alligators kind of hanging out on the edge of the water. And then maybe they'll also be able to go into, maybe they'll retreat or flee if they get uh, spooked into the water and actually swim around. It'll be interesting to see, man. It's, I hope that it is a mix of both, a little bit on land, a little bit in the water. But yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys are expecting as far as rare variations, as far as what level they're going to be. Do you think they're going to be able to go aggressive? Do you want them to be able to go aggressive? Are you expecting an orange rare variation for the alligators? Let me know all of this stuff down in the comments and let's get the conversation started. Alligators are coming to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Friggin' huge hype. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Lots of awesome content on the way for you guys. And as always, take care, be safe, and I will see you guys in the next one.